Please do not go see this film. <laughs> yeah. Late L Kid at One Youngster doing his thing, bringing you this movie review of Independence Day Resurgence. Now, of course, this is a film that is following Independence Day with your boy Will Smith, directed by Roland Emmerich. It had, you know, greats in there like uh, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, you had um, Vivica Fox. You had Bill Pullman in there. Brent Spiner in there. There was some really, really great performances, some great action, some great comedy in the film. And it's something that a lot of people hold dear uh, from the 90s. Uh, it really, really came out of nowhere and it really made an impression, especially considering like the, the you know, the mix of the sci-fi and the comedy and the action. Um, now on to this film, uh, Independence Day Resurgence is not a film that is going to follow in the footsteps of the original Independence Day. <laughs> This movie is just not that good. Um, since this is non-spoiler, and I usually do only spoiler reviews, but since this is non-spoiler, I'm just going to talk about the acting right now. The acting is very poor. Um, what I mean by poor, uh, you can see that the the um, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman are kind of just going through the motions, and then the new cast like Liam Hemsworth and that boy named Usher, whatever his name is, they're horrible. Especially when it comes to like the the um, the acting inside of the cockpit, uh, some bad acting. They they just they just aren't believable. You know, you don't believe that these guys are you know fighter pilots. You just you just don't believe it. Then on to the story. There's a lot of stuff where they kind of like give shouts out to the original and kind of look back at the original and pay a little homage and all that which is cool but they do it in a way where it's so it's it's making sure that you know that they're paying homage to it you know what i'm saying and it's just it just ends up being whack it really does now in my you know in the middle of this because i got some more bad stuff coming up but in the middle of this i'm going to say i do like the idea that they put forward of an alien race that tries to invade us and loses and then comes back for round two I think that premise is amazing. I think that's a dope premise that you could really do a lot with. That is a premise that I think could get a lot of butts in the seats and a premise that I think a great story could be written around where there's a lot of high stakes suspense, a lot of you know thrills, a lot of chills, a lot of drama. Um, but this is just the surface level, you know, destruction kind of film. Whereas, like, let's just show you all the special effects that we got. Um, let's, you know, kind of crumble everything we can. Let's show all the particle effects that we can and not really come in with any meaningful or, you know, any emotional tie to what these people are doing or what is happening to these people. Now, in addition to that, there's another, there are two more science fiction concepts that I really like. The only thing is that those in my opinion are spoilers so i can't give those away but there's two other sci-fi concepts that as a guy who loves sci-fi thinks that it's that those are great concepts but they they show you the concept and then they just forget about it like they never remark upon it ever again um now there are some other good things like of course like i said the special effects you get to see kind of like how our uh, society has progressed how our technology has progressed and that's all great but what's not great is seeing actors look like they're literally just walking through a green screen now of course i know you guys want to know my stars you know my score what it's going to end up as um i'm going to tell you like i told the people in the screening this will end up getting a one possibly a one and a half star for me simply off of the love of the concepts that they brought up even though i don't think they did them any justice um and also the fact of the special effects because of course you know i have to give the special effects some you know some credit because you know they look great but of course they're supposed to look great so i'm gonna end up giving independence day resurgence or id4 uh one and a half out of five stars I'm not happy with it. I don't think you should spend your money on it. I truly don't. I think if anything, you should probably just wait until Netflix or even cable for this. In my opinion, it would probably just be better just to watch the original film again. 
But anyway, of course, my time is up. So peace out. Y'all stay real. VA, what up? LA, stay strong. And of course, comment below if you've seen the movie too. Let's chat about it, at least in a non-spoiler way. Peace.